Aha, haha, hello, hello. I might be a bit loud. I might be a bit loud. Let me turn me down just a little bit so I can scream because that's what I need to do. How are we doing, everybody? Hope you are well today. Welcome to my first live stream. This is, uh, what is this? This is Hermitcraft Season 10. 1.5 live. We're doing that thing again where any live stream in between episodes is going to be kind of like a 0.5 episode live stream, sort of, kind of. It's just a live stream. Hi. Glad to have you here. Um, today, we're going to just be chilling, honestly. It's going to be a real simple stream. Nothing crazy. Um, but we do have a little bit of a Q&A going on uh, with the YouTube Q&A thing, which I've never used before, but that might be fun. Plenty of questions coming in already. Not going to be able to answer them all. Um, but there's a there's a couple of good ones in there, so we'll certainly get to it. But to begin with, um, oh, has there been chat about anything? Okay, I can't see the chat when I'm in looking at my face like this. Um, no, all good. We are here. Welcome to my season ten base. Do we need to sleepy time? I don't think so. I think it's fine. I am poor. I am the poorest I have ever been. Having these locks on my hot bar has been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it has set me back so far. Getting these first two unlocked genuinely took me, I think it was like three days. So literally everybody else had diamonds within like half an hour, an hour of playing. It took me three days of playing to unlock these first two. It was unbelievable. So I'm basically back to day one kind of levels of progress. Like this is one of my chests that I own. I've got some wood and things. Um, this is another chest I own. And this is a third chest. This is my goodie chest. This is this is what I own in the world. I've got nine gold bars, four ingots, a hopper, and a hat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what's going on. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we've still got seven locked slots. Each of these are going to take a diamond to um, to unlock. Plenty of people, by the way, in the comments on my first episode suggesting that I should, like, double it. So this slot would be one diamond to unlock. This one would be two diamonds to unlock, four diamonds, eight diamonds, and then maths that I struggle to do um, going on in that. But you know what? I, I It's fine. This, this hot bar locked thing was very much a kind of episode one a tiny bit into episode two because once you've got like one slot unlocked and you can actually hold a tool it's 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 basically like that's it you're done well done good for you um getting these other seven diamonds which you might even do today depending on how well caving goes uh it's pretty much fine and if i was obviously then that's make it more diamonds right that's the the general idea but um it just feels unnecessarily, like, grindy for me. Necess I think we had the fun out of the no hotbar thing already. Um, lengthening the no hotbar... Well, oh, I'm digging my ceiling. Lengthening the no hotbar thing um, in this in its current state, at least. I, I don't think I don't think there's anything more fun to be had there for me or for you, unless you just like to see me suffer, which I'm sure a lot of you do, so thanks for that. <laughs> um, i got to say as well, a massive thank you, Harry Hope. Um, has become a new channel member with a new YouTube channel. I know, Harry, you've been um, a loyal follower and, and helper and supporter and everything for, for, for many a time. So welcome, Harry. Thank you for the channel membership. And Mutant Dog Turtle, thank you for becoming a channel member as well. I do appreciate the support. Um, we also have some questions going on, don't we? Should we answer one quickly? Uh, let's go to the very... Oh, my goodness. There are a lot. Um, any stream admins, if you're able to get in there and delete... <laughs> Some of them that aren't, like, actual proper questions. That would be great. Um, but first up, Phil Dog asked, Do you wish you could have completed the I Spies advancement in Season 9? If so, what would you have done differently to make sure you got more Hermits? You know what? I am I'm, I'm very. I was very happy not finishing the I Spies advancement last season. Um, I knew I wasn't going to do it. Almost from the beginning of doing it, I knew I wasn't going to do it because it's just so difficult. Like, there were certain hermits, like Mumbo obviously wasn't on for a very, very long time. So it was like, do I count Mumbo or not? Like, I knew that I was never going to get all of the hermits. So it, it kind of didn't make sense to even try. I just knew it was going to be a very fun journey. And I had all these different kind of methods of um, doing all the different spying and things that I wanted to get through. And I did manage to get through all of my spy methods. So that's... That was the main thing. Um, that was that was what I was really happy about. But uh, yeah, the rest of it, nah. I, I'm not unhappy I didn't do it. And I don't think I would have done anything differently either. Because I achieved everything I wanted to achieve. So um, yeah, there we go. Right, let's uh, let's actually get geared up to do a, ver a, bit, a very, very, very basic um, mining. Let's take, let's take some wood down with us. Uh, we've got to make a bunch of um, torches as well. 
I literally haven't. 38 torches are all I have to my name. We're going to have to make... We might have to make some more, actually. Uh, I guess I could just... As long as I bring wood with me, it should be fine, shouldn't it? Okay. All right, we'll stick with that. Um, I've got some carrots. I've got my... I don't need these carrots, actually. I've got plenty of chicken. Okay, I think we should be good. Uh, um, yeah, let's try and get some coal, coal and things <laughs> to start with. That's how poor I am. I'm actually needing coal. Oh, boy. Okay, um, and we've got some places to explore near our base, too. But let me let me show you around here as well. This is the ravine, the crevasse, the crevasse, whatever. Apparently, um, that's different whether it's made of stone or ice. One of them is crevice, one of them is crevasse. I think crevasse is with ice. I'm not sure. Um, but I, I have that nearly the top layer dug out now. We've got a little chicken farm that I fell in before, um, which actually could do with a harvest, uh, right now. I've got two cows, two sheep, I've got some sugar cane, I've got some bamboo over there, um, I've got a little wheat farm going on up here, which, again, yep, is nearly ready for a harvest. That's about it. That's all I've got going on. <laughs> crevasse is ice. All right, you'd think crevice is like crevice. Crevice. It's ice in a crev. <laughs> Would be fine, but yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's get another question. Let's get another question. Um, Amy, what are you looking forward to the most this season? Good, good question. Very nice open one. So um, honestly, I'm really happy how my last season went. Oh yeah, coley, coley. Um, I'm very happy with how it went. I would like to just continue the train of what the, the vibe of last season into this season. And I think Survival Gamified should let me kind of do a similar vibe to that. Can I put... Yeah, can. Perfect. Um, I shouldn't have to, like, change too much. I'll still be able to collaborate with lots of different hermits like I did last season as well, which I'm very, very excited to do. Um, again, lots of people were saying last season, like, try and try and get everybody, collaborate with everybody, which I, I'm always kind of trying to do anyway. So I didn't want to make it like an official list or anything, but... Um, yeah, we did pretty well. Hello. Hello. Let me get that on my hotbar. We really need iron. Coal and iron right now would make my days come true. <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. Um, Insane Monkey! Thank you very much for becoming a channel member and curious mothling. I'm recovering from surgery. Oh no! I hope your recovery is going well. Thank you very much for 11 months of channel membership. Goodness. Um... Wow, this is going to get tricky already, isn't it? Okay, let's uh, let's do some lighting up of this cave, seeing as it's right by our base as well. That would make sense. Very, very nice. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, it's so hot. There's so many questions here. I don't even know which ones I've answered and which ones I haven't and things. I kind of need to, like, refresh every so often. Um, we've got Yasmin here. Are you planning on joining in community events since you didn't play in Demise or the mining session? So, yes, um, I... Uh, I've not always been a massive community event. There's obviously big events that go on on Hermitcraft. Um, and fairly famously, I've not always partaken in them. Um, and is this is this the end of the cave? I better get my sword out, hadn't I? Um, it's literally the end of the cave. No way. I was expecting this to be a massive, great big adventure. And it wasn't. I, I mean, I hear. I'm hearing something. Maybe, if we dig down here, we can find it? I'm hearing the spider hissing, hissing around. If we're nice and quiet, we might be able to echolocate it. Where is it. Where are you, Mr. Spider? Be quiet. Anything? <laughs> I don't hear anything. Um... Yeah, so obviously I, I had my plans for my locked hotbar thing, like, a long time ago, actually. Um, it was actually only one of my only uh, big plans. I've, I've not got too much else, like, solidly planned for the rest of the season. Um, so, yeah, obviously I've got, you know, lots of loose plans. But I knew I wanted to do the hotbar thing day one, straight away, because that's the perfect time to do it. Um, so then, yeah, when the idea for Demise came along and stuff like that, it's kind of like, well, I can't do it because i've already got my thing going on and i i'm i like to i like to do my thing you know i've got my own way of doing stuff um i like to be nice and zedafy and stuff like that so uh it's fine i'm happy with that you know i and it, it means i've got like a nice unique episode one as well 
Um, but it looks like everybody had a lot of fun with Demise, and still, still are. I mean, hey, look at that. Still some, still some undead people there and stuff. Um, where on earth is the... I see iron. I see iron. That's the main mission. Eh. So, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's okay. Um, plenty of people joined in. There was plenty of people that didn't as well. Uh, and I kn also knew that with the with the padlock thing, I was going to be dying very quickly anyway. So I wasn't I wasn't worried about trying to like not die and keep that zero death thing fresh um, for very long at all. So yeah, I don't think that was a problem whatsoever. Um, Alex asks, how do you lock your hotbar? Literally, these are sticks. Um, and because we've got like a custom resource pack thing going on where we can change like normal sticks look normal still But these can look different. Um, yeah, they're just a bunch of sticks Look at that. Oh, I broke the rules. Haha -ha. <laughs> uh, Speaking of which actually I, I very much made sure because I'm having to like self-regulate this that I didn't break any rules during episode one and I'm very proud to say that I managed except once when I kind of middle clicked holding it like this and that happened then I was like, oh, no, 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 no. that, but I never actually, like, placed anything or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy with that fact. Um, makes makes actually finding those diamonds, as you could probably tell, all the more sweeter. Um, right. Did I... I looked up here, but I feel like sometimes there's, like, iron and stuff. Never did find the, sp the spider hissing around at me. Nope. No idea where that is. We'll have to find a new cave entrance. Um... Tigger Lover, thank you so very much for gifting a channel membership. Do appreciate the support. And Heather Crafter, 12 months. Oh my goodness, a full year of channel membership. Just love watching you play this game. Well, thank you. <laughs> I try I try and make it entertaining if I can. Um... <laughs> uh, what do I do with the locks when I'm done? Well, to unlock the slots, I have to sacrifice a diamond. And I did just sacrifice the first two locks in the diamond in the diamond, in the uh, lava pool where I sacrificed the diamonds as well. So probably I will just sacrifice them. I can always make more locks, but honestly, I never want to see another lock again in my life um, because they make me very sad. Oh, we're getting jungle. Jungle in the caves. How nice. A green cave. Uh, oh, ah, bit, bit, bit. Um, Gearmo, thank you very much for five gift subs. I do appreciate the support there, my friend. If you just got a gift sub, gift, um, make sure you say thanks. That's very, very sweet of you. Oh, th okay. So far, I've been, like, having two hotbar slots. That's fine. I can cope with that. Until now. Because this is my first, like, caving session... Oh, a carrot. Where I've not been, like, you know, completely using a flint and steel and everything. Um, now I'm really realizing, like, swapping things out and stuff is way more annoying. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. We will press on. Hopefully, we'll find some nice iron and stuff. Does that do a little loop-de-loop? -loop? It does. Good, good, good. We're also doubling up here, lighting up caves near our base as well. Um, let's have a look at some more questions. Um, might you bring back... An, oh, this is from Harry Hope, by the way. Thank you, Harry. Might you bring back an unused Z advancement? Um, I miss my place later in the season as one of your games. Ooh, yeah. So... Um, again, the big season plans this season. Last season it was uh, Z Advancements. This season it is Survival Gamified. Um, and whilst I was coming up with ideas for Z Advancements, um, and other people were giving me ideas for Z Advancements and things, um, a bunch of them I kept thinking like, oh, if I don't get around to this, because I knew the end of the season was kind of coming up and I still had plenty of things to do uh, to finish off my current Z Advancements. Um, I didn't want to like add too many more. I wanted to be able to complete them all that I had started kind of thing. So, yeah, a bunch of them I knew could be turned into games of sorts. Um, so, yeah, I made sure that, you know, I've got those written down still as ideas, as, as little starters of ideas. So we'll definitely be bringing some of those in. Um, I, oh, uh, we need to make a new stone one because I basically don't have enough iron to, to actually make it. Let's, let's make two at once, shall we? Um, so, yeah, the very good question. Uh, yes is the answer. And very exciting at that. Um, Mutant Dog Turtle. Well, the name ZF, I've said this many, many times in many places, but I'll say it again. Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. There's a character called Zaphod Beeblebrox. I like the name. I like the character. I thought it was fun. I wanted a fantasy sounding name that wasn't just like Dragon Slayer 123 or something. And I thought Zaphod, I'll turn that into ZF. So that was how that, was how that happened. Nice and simple. Um, nothing more to it 
really. Um, right, that's that mini little bit of cave. Hopefully this way will be something more interesting. I mean, we've got, like, what, 10 iron? That's, like, literally more iron than, like... Like, I've just doubled my iron supply already, so it's going well. Um... Yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm going to be all about the game stuff this season, but not not just mini games, mini games too, but definitely the survival gamified aspect. I I think it's really interesting. Um it's a really interesting spin to put on the game, a little re like restriction to put on myself. Um which I think is just going to bring up some very fun, interesting projects. Again, the ones I've got kind of loose ideas for, I'm super excited to get to. It's just that part of the game right now, isn't it, where it's like you just got to Got to grind out, get the survival stuff going, um, and of course that as well. Not everything I do is going to have to be survival gamified because right now I just need to mine like normal. <laughs> Which is why the hotbar thing being locked was so good, um, even though you could kind of see it as a challenge a bit. It's a bit more Z-advancement-y. Um, you could, well, what is, what is a challenge if not just a game, a little game you play with yourself, you know? Um, potato juice, thank you very much for the donation. Casually watching and holding my science Z plush. Oh, lovely. Nice. Oh, I'm glad to hear when people people have got a, a Z plushie. I've chosen to be included in the statistics. Have I now? What? Who said? What is this? <laughs> How have I been chosen? Wait, what? I've been chosen? I, I'm the chosen one? I mean, sure. But, I, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Owie. My face, right. Again, we've got a lush cave. Oh, this might have a a speedler within it. Oh, maybe I should have kept that to climb out. Is there a spider down here that I hear? Also hear a zombie. Zombie. Oh, oh, hello. I need the string. I need the string. A bow would be nice. Nothing. Okay, we do have... Oh, I saw you. I saw him. Um... Okay, I should have eaten. Is he coming over? He's not coming over. This could be death. This could spell death for me. I'm running away. I'm running away so I can eat. <laughs> I can have a little bit of food. Uh, maybe I'll eat the carrot as well, just to save some inventory space, you know? Where's all my food, chicken? Okay. Lovely. I'm not a box. Thank you for becoming a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And Kimberly Ellers, thank you very much as well. Brand new channel membership. Awesome to see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, right. Let's put our pickaxe away. Eh. Try and light some stuff up. There's some coal in the roof there. I don't know if I like the, the vines or whether they're bad. Whether they're bad for me. Ghost of Sparta, 20 gift subs. Oh, hello. Are you kidding me? 20 gift subs. Thank you so very much for the lovely support. Oh, right at the time when I can't even check it anything out. Ah, <laughs> oh, stupid creepers. Okay, good. I need the gunpowder as well. I, I, it's important. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I will be saying as well, next episode, um, I'm going to be really explaining the survival gamified thing a little bit more so because again i think a lot hi jabada i think a lot of people maybe got the wrong end of the stick with the with the locked hotbar stuff um thinking it's more challenge based which it won't be fully it's 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 an it's interesting trust me there's a there's a solid concept with solid like rules and stuff in there oh goodness is this ever going to end be gone be gone <laughs> Right. Oh, perfect. They're having a fight. Um, oh, is this where I was? Nope, this is just an even bigger cave thing going on. Okay, wow, this is a dangerous place. Uh, hopefully nothing sneaks up behind me. What kind of death is this? This is just super deadly. What's going on? <laughs> oh, he's following me as well. He's tracking me. Okay, come come to me. You come to me. And we'll do the old little dance. Very nice. This shield is taking a beating as well. Oh, okay, grab some food. 
Very, very nice. Should I go back and turn this into some armor, maybe? We need a bit more iron first, unfortunately, I think, don't we? Um, did you win? Oh, he beat the skeleton. I'm proud of you, mate. I wish I'd killed you now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fresh. I'm fresh as a baby. Okay, there's some arrows down here. Good. Some copper. Again, I just need iron. Iron, please. Again, that looks like an interestingly... Ooh, yeah, a real big cave going on there. But for now, I'm just going to make my way along here. Again, we just want the easy picking iron, please. Okay, Creeper, can you come and help us out? Oh, bah! Okay. Very good, very good. Very good, okay. Yeah, having another another inventory slot would... Uh, hotbar slot, I mean, would be very, very nice. Yep, there's some coal about. Um, I see it, I see it, I see it. I just kind of want to kind of, like, make things a bit safer, you know? And iron is honestly the top priority right now, so we'll go for that still. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a cave I saw in episode one as well that was, like, unbelievably... Like, I showed, I showed it in episode one, if you remember. Um, just... <laughs> just crazy i feel like this gravel is gonna fall down and and kill me one day um oh wow that was a rather quick quick explosion short fuse so to speak okay right i want another question i want another question but i can't oh hello what are you you're spiders are you okay good to know good to know um, what do we get in here? We got some music discs, some melons, more gunpowder, thorns. Interesting. My first name tag. All right, let's try and collect all of this, shall we? If we can. Uh, oh boy, lots of string as well. That's really good. Get rid of some of the poop. Um, wow, there's a lot of poop. <laughs> Make sure we eat this first. Okay, let me scroll around on my questions a little bit more. Um, ba -ba -ba. what else should we do? Oh, 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 ah, I'm scared. I'm scared. The longer I look away from the thing, the more scared I get. <laughs> I don't want to check. Um, there's so many questions in there. Thank you, everybody, for submitting questions. Uh, where's my axe? Uh oh. Give it back. Like I say, we're certainly not going to have to get to all of them, unfortunately. Um, I do want the record discs, though. Um, ba 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 ba. Can make some more torches, maybe. Yep. Um, get rid of some of that. Uh, oh boy. Uh, we got a bow, a bad bow. Mix these together. Ah, I'm, I, I want it all, but I can't take it all. Um, 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 um everything is, is like amazing right now. <laughs> Uh, I think I've got pumpkins back at the base, so I don't need those. Beetroot seeds would be nice, though, and I do want that other record disc like that. Okay, does that work? All right, let's get a, uh, a screenshot of this for future references. Very nice, very nice. Okay, well, I was not expecting to find a spawner that quickly. I don't know why, it just surprised me. Um, can I make my way out of this cave again real quick? Because again, we are full. And I would like to keep all this stuff, if possible. Okay. I am a bit of a hoarder, Harry. It's true. It's true. I mean, when, again, when I earn, own nothing, you know, and some of the gamified stuff I've got going on, I always need the weirdest stuff. So I just kind of want to have it all. I want to take it all and bring it back. Um, you know, I'm kind of trying to just enjoy the time, not having an elytra, not having shulker boxes and this and that, but still... Sometimes, oh, sometimes you just, you just miss it a lot. <laughs> Celeste, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate the support. I told you it's going to be a chill one today, didn't I? Um, oh, there was a question about the Hall of All, wasn't there? Where, where, where was that? Where was that? I don't know who said it. About whether the, there was documentation for the Hall of All. Um, yes, there was. Um, the lovely Liara, actually, who helps do uh, the Hermitcraft recap. Um <laughs> that uh, was uh, very much integral in helping me get that going. So, um, right. Seeds. Good seeds. Um, we'll keep these in my good stuff chest for now, along with that. Um, we've got gunpowder. 
haven't got any gunpowder yet. Lots of coal, which is nice. Um, we'll kind of keep the bow around. Chests, that's a hoe, but I don't need it, actually. Uh, let's smelt up. Oh, chicken, excuse me, can you can you actually be good? Good to cook, thank you. Um, let's put that away, that away. Uh, should I just make another bow? I don't know. Um, chests away, very, very nice. I guess sticks can go away as well. Uh, this is in my good stuff chest. Um, brilliant, and let's get the iron smelterating. Very nice. Cool, we got a whole stack of food now. That's good to know. Can start putting some extras away. First time that's happened. Nom nom nom. Oh, oh, scary. Always close your door. Oh, is Liara in the chat? Yeah, Liara, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for your help with that. So, yeah, I did have a spreadsheet and um, was planning on releasing it at one point. But by the time we got to the end, um, my what was in game and what was in my spreadsheet, they were so... I'd, like, move stuff around. It wasn't even very good. It would have taken me so long to make the spreadsheet look like what it looked like in game, if that makes sense, that I just thought, you know what? People can see it in the video. I made sure to show every chest um, in the, at the end there. So if you want to do it, you can just, just copy that. Um, but obviously as the game, as we go on already with the new updates and stuff, there's going to be new blocks and things, so, but that's all in the past. <laughs> all in the past. Okay. What's this? Uh, from Kimberly. Actually, a big question I have is how do you manage to take care of yourself during a long stream or bout of making episodes? I imagine it's hard to remember to eat sometimes. Oh, no. I remember to eat. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it, yeah, it can be tricky. I mean, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Um, my episodes, are, I aim for like a 20 minute episode and yeah, they, it takes me longer than 20 minutes to make an episode, put it that way. Um, I wish, I wish I was entertaining enough where I could just log on, hit record, play for 20 minutes, stop record and upload it. I wish I was entertaining enough to do that, but unfortunately this face needs a lot of editing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That cannot happen. Um, how many have we got now? 14. And I've already got a helmet. I don't know why I'm not wearing the helmet. I guess let's make iron armor, right? That's that's kind of the first thing just to keep myself safe. Some pants and stuff. Cool. Okay. Um, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. We've got our pickaxes and things. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go back to the back to the caves. See what we can do. Um, yeah, so I don't really need to need to worry too much about uh, remembering to eat and this and that. I think it's really good. I found quite a good work-life balance lately, um, especially over, like, season nine and things. Um, and since I, I met my girlfriend, dot, dot, dash, that's, she's really helped as well. Um, it's been nice sort of being able to have someone to help with the episodes and bounce ideas off of and things. So, uh, yeah, she's she's integral to, to ZF and the channel and all that stuff. But, um... Yeah, I I find myself I for my ideas and things like that which are quite important to my channel. Where was that cave? Um I find it best to come up with new ideas when I'm hello. Is this the one where them zombies were? Uh when I'm not actually like sat at my computer or anything like that. So I try my best. Am I going to die? Um, to get out and get away from the computer and all of that, which, you know, is a very good sounding excuse to to procrastinate from work. But no, that is when I come up with my best ideas, honestly. Oh, bit of, bit of laggy lag going on there. Um, are you just a crumbled down thing of gravel? Oh, poor you. <laughs> oh, Dot's here in chat as well. Okay, I didn't even know. Um, was this a dead end? No, it was not. Well, dead end in maybe the sense of I will die. <laughs> That's possible. Uh, very much so. No, it's just one of these weird, like, flat kind of caves that you get nowadays with the new generation and stuff. Um, very weird. Oh, I thought that was like emeralds or something then. Does this even open up into anything at all? I don't think it does. The grass has just moved in. All right. Well, we shall find a new cave to go in. There was a whole bunch. This whole bottom area around here looked so, so holy all over the place. Um, yeah, so, right, let's let's talk a bit more about this, this coming season, shall we? So, yeah, Survival Gamified. What does that mean? Oh, yeah, melons. Oh, I did have melon seeds already then. Um, 
that's not too exciting. I keep getting uh, <laughs> distracted, don't I? Um, yes, yeah, so I my main, main plan is to try and turn things that you'd normally do in survival, so farms and, like, storage rooms and, and this and that. Um, where was that cave I was in? I want to try and turn into um, games, mini games of sorts, single player games, multiplayer games, all of that. Um, in my episode two, it's going to become a lot more obvious what that means. So I'm not going to spoil it because um, I want to I want to have that big reveal in the episode. Uh, but yeah, I think I think uh, it's going to be fun and it's, it's going to be somewhat similar to previous seasons. There's going to be some sort of Cave of Contraption-esque um, things. Should I should I jump it? Hello, Tarzan! <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on. I should have checked. Okay. Good. No, no, don't set me on fire. Owie. Can you not? Look, we're both burning here. We've got bigger problems. Uh-oh, am I going to die? Fire? I'm not. Stop running away. I'm going to sparta you off of this cliff. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Wow, I've never needed chicken more in my life. Oh, go away, creeper. Be gone. I need to eat. Oh, goodness, it's still not dead. Is it safe up here? Is it safe for a little hungry dead ZF? This might have been even near where I was. No, it's yet another cave. <laughs> With no iron going on anywhere. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, eat, 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 eat. Very good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be kind of surviving like normal, but where possible and where I have good ideas for it, I'm going to be then like, I'll build a normal, I've got a storage room. You see, I've got like three chests and stuff that will keep expanding, blah, 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 normal stuff. Um, oh, that's a bone, not a sword. Uh, but when I get a good idea for a storage based mini game thing, I will swap my storage over to the new mini game version. Um... And it will be some form of sort of contraption-y, mini -y type thing. It should be a lot of fun, honestly. Um, the loose ideas I've got written down, I'm, I'm just super excited to get started with it, honestly. Uh, I just want to be able to jump into like episode 5 or 6 and stuff, you know? It's it's these early ones that are really troubly. Um, what a lovely cave of death. Uh, this is going to be fun. Let's get the sword out and try our best to not die horribly in front of everybody. Ah. Very difficult. Ah. Good. Right. Already need more food. I wonder if I can do it in my offhand. That might be smarter. I'll, I'll start using my offhand a bit more again. Any any iron? Any iron anywhere, anybody? Oh, can you can you not? Ah, what? I had my shield up. How you do? Oh goodness. You really are a pest, you know that, right? Nobody enjoys what you're doing right now. You're not making friends with anybody here. Make sure it's nicely lit up, though. That's that's very important. Okay. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. Which advancement? This is from Mark. Which advancement ended up being way harder than you originally thought? Or were all of them as hard as you thought they would be? So, uh, I guess I've already kind of mentioned it, but yeah, the... The... Uh, ba, the... Uh, um, not cacophony. What am I talking about? The uh, uh, zombie at the moment. Sorry, Mark. I can't answer. Uh, what? I oh, floated. He floated for a while. Oh goodness! Oh, and then he caught up with me. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yes, the I spy. I try I spy's advancement was harder than I thought it was going to be. Still, um, because you know, just even just having a when I want to record. You know, if if the people, well, I mean, loads of people are on right now, but if the people who I need to spy on aren't online, well, what? What can I do? I can't do anything then, right? I can't, I can't do it. So you've got to kind of try and pick and choose when, but then when the people are online, you know, it's very, very tricky. Like I barely saw Etho online, for example, very, very rarely. So getting him at the the TCG um, championship thing was a massive like requirement. Um, Honestly, because it was the, the only way I would be able to actually get him properly. Come on. Okay, can we not have lag while I'm trying to do lag-friendly things, please? Good. I'm surprised. We've seen 10 iron. That is all so far. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more than that, but yeah. 
Um, oh, it's a bit dark back there. Eh, eh. Um, and another uh, question that was asked as well, which again, by a whole bunch of people, so, um, was, what was my favourite Z advancement? Uh, oh, fishy. Oh, interesting. Wait, I can get this with a stone pickaxe, right? This is the, this is the one that you can get with stone, and it still drops, I believe. Or is it redstone? One of them I always, yeah, no, this one. I always thought you needed iron for, for lapis, but no, you need just stone, so that's nice. Um, oh, I haven't had my shield up either. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, yeah, my favourite advancement, I think, oh, it's tricky, because I loved loads of them, um, was possibly either, for the kind of technical aspect of it, was the uh, one arrow through three dimension one, where I shot an arrow um, in the nether, it came through into the overworld, it then went through into the end portal, and, and shot myself. <laughs> uh, that one holds a very special place in my heart, because the fact, I just... The concept of that still just looks like, how on earth is that even possible? Um, and then the other one was uh, with Etho, the uh, the music one, the Creeper Explosion, Perilous Percussion, um, just because, yeah, Etho is my absolute Minecraft hero. He's basically the first person I ever started watching. He got me into Minecraft initially, watching his videos. Um, so then being able to do something with him alone is fantastic, but then on top of that, it was like the perfect Z advancement to do with Etho too. It made so much sense to get him in with a note block based challenge. Um, he absolutely nailed the music as well. Like it was just great all round. Um, everything worked perfectly with that one. I can't believe. Oh, there is. Wait, that's gold. Ooh, okay. Let's get our other pickaxe out. Huh, huh. Oh no. I don't know how swapping things works. <laughs> I just pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Um, so yeah, per Perilous Percussion possibly might have to be my favourite, closely followed by, um, One Arrow Through, Three Dimensions, uh, whatever that was called. <laughs> I can't even remember the names now. Uh, da -da, I try not to drown. Eh. Yeah, but oh, again, all in all, I've, I've loved all of my Hermitcraft seasons I've done. I even loved my old single player world before I got invited to Hermitcraft, but I definitely think season nine, like, oh was just was just so good. I genuinely am worried. I've been worried for a long time of how am I ever going to top that because I just personally had so much fun doing it and I, I, I think people really enjoyed watching it too. Um, you know, I'm just super, super proud of that and, and feel really lucky that I, I got to uh, actually do a whole season that start, middle and end was just, you know, as I wanted it to be. I didn't have to, to bend anything to, you know, a different thing. Nothing kind of went wrong. Uh, that wasn't funny. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, very, very proud of that, generally. Um, but I do believe now uh, I've got I've got the plans. I've got I've got the ideas. And I think season 10 is going to be just as good as season nine um, with similar vibes, but then obviously like brand new stuff as well. Um, and I've had this big season wide idea now for probably about a good year or so. Um, which means, you know, I've written down a lot of little kind of notes and stuff like that um, over the year uh, that I've been working on it. Is that really that cave done? Okay. All right. I know I'm being a bit of a wimp here, but I know what it's like. And I'm definitely the kind of person that would just spend like an hour or two mining and then I die and lose everything. <laughs> and then, then I'm sad. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be careful because I'm, I'm concentrated. I'm trying to chat with you guys as well. Um, oh, oh a, a raw chicken. I meant a, a wild chicken. Oh, let me mix these two bows together, please. Thank you. Raw chicken. Ah. Here, I need all the food I can get. Very good, very good. Oh, there's more as well. Okay. Oh, so many eggs about. Wow. You know what? If I throw these eggs way back over towards my base, maybe they'll make a baby and then they'll make another chicken. Oh, I see a cave up there. Let's see if we can scale the mountain and get to it. Uh, right, let's see if there's any other questions. Stuff going on. Um, we've got uh, Star Days. How many people do you have helping behind the scenes? Interesting question. Yeah, so, um, yeah, no, I'd love to love to talk about that. So, uh, yeah, I've got Dot Dot Dash, um, who is my girlfriend, who lives, lives here with me, and she does um, a big chunk of editing for me. 
um, when it comes to like when I do a collaboration with a hermit and it's like like for example um, at the end of last season me and B-dubs uh, we hung out and we did the horse racing stuff ah uh, ah uh. <laughs> um, where even was that hole? I didn't even know where I was kind of aiming for. Okay, right up there. Good. Another another raw chicken. A walking raw chicken. Uh. So yeah, I, me and B-Dubs, we basically just recorded for an hour. And in fact, if you're a channel member, you can go and check out the bonus uh, video on my channel that is pretty much uncut of me and B-Dubs just hanging out, having a laugh. Because um, obviously it had to get edited down. So... Um, yeah, she does all of that kind of editing. She's also great, like, bounces ideas off of each other and, and, and things like that. Um, she also helps out a lot with Zedcraft as well, uh, which is my patron server. This didn't mean to turn into a massive plug for everything. Become a channel member. Become a patron. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she helps out a lot with that. As well as just kind of... Hello. Yes. As well as just, like, mentally, she helps me just, like, unwind a bit. Kind of, you know, I don't feel like I'm doing this on my own as much we're kind of a team and we're in it together so yeah dot dot dash um a bunch of my patrons just generally help out with little bits like i said like liara helped out with the hall of all thing last time um i've got a lovely patron of mine as well sam's penguins who is my like go-to um guy of ha having to uh, if i need something tested like right now he's kind of testing a few little bits and bobs of of some weird ideas i had um to just just kind of just kind of work some stuff out like if there's anything in the idea or not, basically. Um, and uh, who else? I'm going to forget someone now. That's the trouble, isn't it? Um, but, I mean, yeah, in terms of everything else, like, I do all of everything else. Oh, the beginning of my last episode, um, my good buddy Jack from the Chris and Jack channel, uh, he made that intro for me. Um, it's kind of part of his job, honestly. So I, I hired him. I, I took him on. Oh, there might be some stuff over on that mountain, too. Um, to make that introduction for me, and I helped bring, get all the assets together and stuff like that, and he made an awesome little um, intro of, like, all my last seasons, which I loved. It was fantastic. Um, is there any anyone else majorly that I'm, I'm forgetting here? I've got my, my uh, Zedcraft admins for my patron server as well. Every single one of them um, does wonderful stuff with the Zedcraft community. Uh... Yeah, Chris and Jack, the sketch show, but not spelt with a C-H, spelt with a K. That's that's me. I'm Chris with a K, and he's Jack with a J. Uh, oh, hey, another cave going on. Beautiful. Eh. Yeah, Sean Tomcat. Oh, yeah, of course, with the with the with the subtitling as well. Um, eh. Absolutely, very important stuff. Very important stuff. I know Dot's been doing a lot of it lately, be only because my episodes have been. I've been making them very last minute. <laughs> and luckily, because Dot's here, she's able to kind of start subtitling it before the episode's even finished. Um, so most of them have been getting done. But um, yeah, I know I can always always count on Sean Tomcat if I ever need some subtitling done. for Because um, I think since... Like, when has it been? Uh, or my, uh, since season seven, I think, all of my episodes have been custom subtitled. Um, so if you didn't know, yeah, definitely turn on custom subtitles when you're watching on YouTube. Um... Yeah, can definitely help out if you're hearing impaired or even not. I just I just do it nowadays because I like to read as I go along. Um, how many how many more iron did I get? Only three. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> um, we've got some new channel members coming in. Blue Robbins, thank you very much for your channel membership. I do appreciate that support there. And Cyborg Zombie, cool name. Thank you very much as well. There's some scary spooky lava. Let's jump down right nearby. See what we can find. Okay. Eh. A little bit of food, please. I'm really, I'm really just don't want to die on camera. <laughs> um, that would not be good. Um, in one word, this is from Jacqueline. In one word, what would you word would describe your season ten base in its current form? Um, I mean, Etho uh, described it best as a banana. So. <laughs> Even though it's not as banana-y looking anymore, but um, yeah, I guess what I hope it is, uh, it's just, it's like all my bases, honestly, just fun, right? Like, I want people to visit my base and there's just things to do that's fun, as interactive and as kind of visual and, and everything, oh, hello, as, as kind of um, kinetic as possible. Uh, I know that's way more than one word. But, you know, 
that's that's kind of my hope. Um, what are they doing with stat stuff? That's cool. We've got some new thing that I think they're trying to figure out um, where you can, like, we can have our stats as variables in a book or something. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe I'm maybe I'm making things up a bit there, but um, if they get it working, that should be a pretty cool little extra extra little feature thing. So um, let's cover this in just in case there's some some crouching tiger hidden iron underneath that we can that we can nab. Um, <laughs> Kimberly also asked, my last question. Sorry for bothering you. It's okay, Kimberly. It's a QA. and a um, But do you plan to turn base building into a game? Not exactly the the act of base building, but my base is basically, <laughs> basically, is going to be full of mini games that help me farm things and do things. And again, I, I kind of, I, I know it's a QA and a and I'm meant to be kind of revealing stuff, but you'll see. Wait for episode two, and you'll you'll you get a much better idea of of what I'm what I'm chatting about. Uh, I don't have any coal yet on this run, so I'll get some when we have to make some more torchy watches. Um, let's grab some of that. Um, Eric the P asks, I know that you and Jack are both busy people, um, but are there any plans to do any more Chris and Jack sketches? I really enjoy going back and watching the old ones. No, unfortunately not. Um, that probably will be the end of Chris and Jack, um, sketches as you know them. I never say never, but there's nothing on the cards for, uh, the near future or even the potential distant future. It takes too long. Um, if someone wanted to give us, like, I don't know, 2,000 pounds to make a sketch, we would be able to, per sketch, we would be able to do it again if we got, like, a sponsorship or something, um... From like a joke book. What's, what's like a famous joke book company? Is, is there even one? I'm not sure there is even one. But uh, then we could totally bring it back. But it just, it was like a full week of work for the both of us. Like 40, 50 hours each um, to make one video. And we just, we just can't do it. We got, we got other stuff going on. So, um, you know, but the, the videos that we had, we had a good like 50 plus solid um, videos. I am super duper proud of all of them. Um, and they'll always be there, so, you know, they don't really age badly either, like, um, but Jack and I do still do the podcast, A World Without, so, yeah, if you're interested in that as well, um, this really is just turning into a massive plug, isn't it? A world without podcast .com. Um, you'll be able to find all the lovely links there, we basically pick a topic, like A World Without Glass, and we will just come up with all the silly side effects of A World Without Glass, um, it's just a it's a laugh. It's a real laugh. We just get real silly with it, um, and I absolutely love that too. It's a it's a great fun thing. Yeah, there we go. We got some world without fans in the chat too, which is very cool to see. So uh, yeah, that's that's still happening at the moment because um, that's something quick and easy. Well, I say that poor Jack has to do like loads of editing still and and loads of different time. Let's make sure we lighten things up around here too. It's very dark and spooky. Um, oh, look at those. Look at Jevin. Are they going? Are they going? Going crazy? I think I've got um a, a place under my base, uh, an ancient city nearby at least, because of all that skulk. So uh oh, it's a bit scary. Oh hello, Mr. Creeper. Um goodbye, Mr. Creeper. Let's run this back to the base. And you know what? Where we did the dig down of the day last episode, um we found a spider spawner, didn't we? I'm gonna try and go back down there again, um and see if we can see if we can raid that spider spawner. I don't think it. No, it wasn't the one that I just found again um bup, bup, bup. let's have a little nap hopefully no one asked for no sleep um what this is from um Lu louise uh asked what would you most like to see added to the game to add to your whimsy play style um i would say the things i love slime blocks tnt leads um they're the pretty big ones so I think, and, and also like boats and vehicles and, and all that kind of stuff, anything that's kinetic, anything that gives more movement to the game, I think is really, really important. Um, so yeah, that's, that is what I would say. Uh, let's get some more, more kinetic stuff. Maybe some springs or something? I don't know. I'm trying to think of more things that are kind of kinetic based. Um, in fact, let's go boom like that. 
Got more of this growing too. This is basically super duper easy free fuel for now. Oh, whoopsie. Okay, well, you can stay there. Lucky you. You got re replanted. Well done. <laughs> Boop. And lovely. Let's chuck that in there as well. Um, chuck that on there. Okay, so we still need a, a chest plate. Um, I'm going to need another shield soon. Uh, I, I think I got loads of string, didn't I? Was that from before? Yeah, let's make a proper bow um, from scratch without having to reuse this one. Um, make some stickaroos. Very good, very good. Okay. Bow. Bow. It would have been quicker for me to just make it. There it is. Okay. Nice. So hard to use without the hotbar slots either. So, yeah, can't really, can't really even use it properly. Um... Let's do the uh, good old-fashioned thing that I used to do in my stream stuff, where I make a poop chest, and then we can go poop, 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 poop. Uh, keep that. That's not poop. <laughs> you got to be careful what you're making poop and what you're not making poop. Um, let's make some more swords things. Bam. Okay. Another one of you. Uh, pickaxes are looking good. Okay, cool. Nice. Fine. Happy. Happy with that. Let's just eat some chicken. And we've got a little bit more gold for absolutely no reason at all that I can think of. Um, cool, we've got some stuff. Let us try and figure out exactly how we're going to get back down this hole without dying. Um, I guess I could pour water down there. I do have a water bucket. Where was it? So I randomly generated a coordinate nearby... Um, and I visited it. Here it is. Oh, have I been get? Oh, look. Oh, it only ends there. I thought this vine was going to go all the way down to the bottom. That would have been so cool. Um, yeah, let's, uh, flush. Excuse me. Let me place my water down. Um, Blue Robins asked, did you and Green talk about the idea of digging down, or did you both come up with it on your own? Well, I certainly came up with it on my own, and unless Green has spies in my office... Uh, he would have come up with it on his own as well. Um, but yeah, I've I've known that I've wanted to do something um, to uh, celebrate my patrons uh, with a little bit more fun. That's that, you know people people that aren't interested in it. They don't want to just see a list of random names. They don't care. Uh, so to make it more fun for those people, I thought I'd turn it into a game. And of course, this is the season of games for me. So why not turn that into a game as well? Uh, is this even going to work? Am I going to drown? Let's let's give it a go. Stupid thing. Okay. Okay, I can swim down pretty fast. Let's... Oh, no. Where are my torches? Did I throw them away in the poop chest? Oh, no. Okay. Swim up super quick. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, now I have torches ready. I think we're a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more prepared. Um... Uh, yeah, so this is my first dig down of the day. Every episode, we're going to just dig straight down, dedicate it to a patron while all the patron credits go. And um, yeah, this was Aileen's dig down of the day. It failed uh, miserably, and I'm sure most of them will. But one day, one day, someone is going to be the lucky, the lucky patron who has an amazing dig down of the day. Uh, oh my goodness, am I going to make this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, guys? Don't swim. Oh, he's swimming. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. They're going to start swimming again, and I'm going to have to knock him away. Oh, he's flo leather floating. Okay. Okay. Is there a skeleton involved in this now, too? I mean, this is a brilliant place to go caving from as well, though. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> huh. No! Well, there's that. <laughs> Good job I just emptied my inventory out, isn't it? Okay, right. Let's, uh, first things first, most important thing. You can see how the magic happens now. We need seven. Boop, like that. Sticks before we do anything more. Trigger. That's trog. Trigger. Custom model data. Set. Eleven. Boom, and then I go zwim, and that completely helps us keep to our rules and lock everything up. Okay, great. Uh, um, <laughs> what's what's my plan? I don't know the plan. I don't have anything. I guess I'll just go down 
naked and hope that like my stuff survived and that there's not monsters down there now this might end up being a bit of a death loop um but it's it's all good <laughs> there's definitely lag going on here more than usual which is not helpful thank you very much internet or whatever whatever you are okay huh don't do it okay up we go some some stuff got lost it was inevitable oh oh dear <laughs> It's it's a very friendly cave, isn't it? But it's also incredibly deadly. Ugh. What did what did I manage to salvage? Okay, we'll put that on. Um, yeah, at least I, okay, I got my food back. And my bow. But I, there might be some more stuff down there. I don't know. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What a day. What a day. People saying anything? No, nobody cares. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not an important demise person, so it doesn't matter. Um, Charles, thank you very much for the lovely support. I do appreciate that. Um, oh, your friend is a melon. Okay, what's going on here? Ouch. Oh, I managed to hit him. Can you guys start fighting amongst yourselves? That would be great. Um, how many zombies? Too many zombies. What? Ex what? There's one of every kind. Oh, goodness. I mean, at this rate, all of... I'm going to have the five-minute timer. Where are they going? Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay, let's just 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 take a breath. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. <laughs> right, we have a sword. Um, we have a pickaxe. Let's just kind of sneakily see what's going on. Um, yeah, bad badness is what's happening. Um, let's dig here. Right, there are guys right there. Let's kill all of them. I mean, at this point, if I can kill these zombies, run back to my water thing, I might be somewhat okay. Just have a little nibble. But this this has turned from, let's just try and get some iron, to this is what we're doing now. <laughs> Early game, folks. Early game. And bad player. <laughs> uh, I see some gold up there. Can you guys come a bit closer? I, I'm not. I won't bite. I'll just sword you in the face. Um, let's. Oh, I can't even. I don't even have a wooden thingy majig. Uh, okay. Hello. Where are you going? I'm right here. Can you please just be gone now? I'm trying to I'm trying to make things nicer for you. Okay, very good. Very good. I think I'm still within the five minutes. Um, I, I've not got torches. That is a bad, bad problem. Um, I don't think they can get to me. Any Anything else dropped? Can anyone see any other items? I'd love some coal just to make a... Oh, there's some iron there. Okay. Uh, let's be a bit risky, shall we? A bit of coal would be would be great right about now. So I can make some... I can make some stuff. Let's go back up again. I hear a skeleton wiggling his bits. Oh, he, I feel him. Okay, I guess we, I guess we get more things. I mean, there's some coal. Oh, and some deep slate coal as well. Okay, um, let's eat. Let's try and be big and strong and brave about this. I mean, I've already lost some pants, so I'm minus seven iron down now. 
Uh, whoa, okay. Cole, right there. Let's just grab one bit. Uh, let's just be like, bam, 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 bam. Good. Torches. Good. Okay. Light it up. Okay, very nice, very nice. As long as we get this, like, main area where we, where our water thing is, we should be. Can you figure it out? Ow, you hit me. How did you hit me through that? Come on. Oh, my. Ouch, my face. He's got some long arms. <laughs> Hippie, thank you so much for the channel membership. I do appreciate the support. As always, four months as well, Hippie. Season 10 hype, indeed. Indeed. Oh, it's the lag, the lag. I mean, I'm, I'm making I'm making excuses now. Hey, okay. Um, right, let's uh, make some more torches. Let's get some more of that coal. Because this is opened up my caving adventures um, to something a lot more scary, a lot more deadly. Which I'm sure will be fun for you. Yeah, sure, lag. Exactly. If I just keep blaming the lag. You guys don't know. <laughs> um, good. Good. Okay, f uh, finally some actual, like, things. Resources. This is where it all got a bit scary. Okay, we're kind of up on a little safety ledge. Here, so to speak. There's where more coal is. Uh, let's light that up. Oh, some more iron there as well. Very good, very good. Right, let's just get all this iron. Go back home. Make make a nice pair of pants again. You can't poop your pants if you're not wearing pants, right? It's like that phrase, like, you wouldn't punch a guy with glasses on, would you? It's like, well, you, would, you wouldn't poop yourself. You wouldn't poop your pants without pants on or something. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, honestly. Um, if you haven't been able to tell. Yeah. Um, Jan asks, um, is there a someone, YouTuber in brackets, um, you would like to see on the Hermitcraft server? There was, but they, I now have seen them on the Hermitcraft server. Skizzle Man, I'm super happy about him being on Hermitcraft now. It's, it's a dream come true, honestly, like... Yeah, Skiz is awesome, and I've I we've we've known each other for a long time now, but we've not actually managed to do all that amount of stuff together. Like we've not done loads and loads, and that is all about to change because yes, I have front row tickets to the Skiz show, and I'm not about to sell them on some ticket website. What am I, what am I talking about? <laughs> uh, hello. We move forward. Is that, what's that? Oh, I thought that was a a wooden watch him call it. That was just my scaredy hole, wasn't it? Okay, it's really hard getting the arrows to bounce back and hit them. Oh, it would help if I hit him with a sword. Oh no! Oh no! My shield broke. Okay, we're we're going back up the water pipe now. We're like the spike. Look at this! Look at this lag! This isn't not lag. This is the chewiest chunk of chicken I've ever... I've ever tried eating. Uh, why do I have extra locks on my hotbar slot? Um, let me try that again. Okay. <laughs> oh, chewy chicken. Yeah, why, what? How did that end up happening? Did I somehow duplicate more items? I have no idea. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, no, it does matter. We've got to have a locked hotbar slot. We can't ruin that effect. Okay. Um, right. Shield before anything else, except... I do want to quickly light up. Ugh. There's more iron there. There's more iron there. Hello, Mr. Bat. Okay, we have very much secured the area more so. Let's... Let's go. Whew. Oh, I picked up the my my old locks. Okay, great. Good, that makes sense. I thought that was maybe like a lag thing as well, but apparently not. Um, that is the perfect length water hole to not drown. It's almost like it was meant to be. 
Um, and the, oh yeah, the point was we were going all the way to the bottom, wasn't it? To to see the spider thing. So okay, wow, am I a hungry boy? Love me some tough chicken. Um, let us grab those. Um, I very much am out of bamboo. Um, let's throw them in there. We've got some proper, we've got some more coal and stuff to cook with. That's fine. Um, we have some stuff for that now. Very good. I, I've lost my water bucket as well, which means that's three more iron literally down the toilet. Fantastic. Um, let us... When there's only a little bit left... Boom. Perfect ratios. We can grab two coal and pop one in there. One in there. Split that. Very nice. Okay. Close the door and we're all good. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Let's try and get another question. Um, ba -ba -ba -bam. What have we got? What have we got? Um, Jacqueline asks again, will there be more Zed and Etho shenanigans? I, I really hope so. I absolutely hope so. The fact that he came and visited me for my first episode even, even was lovely. Very nice surprise. And I know Etho likes his minigames too, so hopefully, hopefully, there's some something to be done there as well. Between me and old Etho, um, that'd be very, very cool to see. Right, What's my whole iron situation here? We need... Pants, we need that. Uh, having another water bucket would not be a bad thing. Um, I've got my iron... I lost my iron pickaxe as well? Oh, my word. Okay, well, iron pickaxe is definitely important for if we find any good stuff. Um, like I say, can't poop your pants without pants. So that's the next thing. And then we need two more. For a fully dressed... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I feel safe. Oh, and a shield. Let us make a shield as well. Brilliant. Good. Um, how much iron did we end up having left over? Not very much, but enough. Six. Okay, good. I am going to take three and make another water bucket, because I always find a water bucket has multiple uses um, that you can, you can use it with all sorts of things. Put that back away. Um, yeah, we'll take more sticks. Uh, a few more torches might be nice. Don't want to take too many because, as you can see, I die a lot. Uh, oh, we'll get a few more than that. That was that was a pathetic amount. One, two, three. Boom, 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 boom. Lovely. Okay. Um, Silly Sword asks, will Team Zits be here this season? Oh, of course. Of course Team Zits are going to be here. Me, Tango, Impulse, and Skiz together. Absolutely. Um, I can't wait for it. Let me, oh, let me fill my bucket. Fill my bucket with water. A boop. Okay, nice. I think we're ready to go and die again in the caves again. Don't you think? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, um, where was the hole again? I always forget. Nice, let's do a big jump from up here. That seemed to really help last time. Made me go quicker, you know. Be gone, the dangly things. Hold your breath. <gasps> oh, I missed. <laughs> I'm not very good at scuba diving. <gasps> okay, oh, get my swim on. Very good, very good. Hopefully we should see it a little bit easier now. Cool. Okay, right. Iron, iron, iron. Uh, I think there was more over this side. Um, yeah, zit stuff. I mean, we haven't got any plans, I'm going to be honest. Um, we've got no current plans in the working, but we we love each other. And uh, people seem to enjoy us all hanging out together. So we certainly will be using every opportunity we possibly have to do some uh, zit-based shenaniganery. Um... And I'm, I'm here for it, so. Good, look at this. Finally, finally some decent iron supplies. Oh, boy. Okay. And again, this is what people did literally in the first half of an hour of, of their survival experience. And then there's me over here being like, what, like a week in? Yeah, literally like a week in now. Uh, not even, not even a full week. And I'm uh, here I am finally starting to survive. But hey-ho. Um, wait, is this... Does this mean there's a whatchamacallit? A, 
purpley thing. No, it doesn't, does it? No, it's the other it's the other looking stuff. This just might have some iron um packed iron stuff in it. I'm forget uh, Nobody move a muscle. Where did you come from? Because I didn't see you on the way in, and you certainly didn't spawn. I feel like this is going to end in explosions. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Okay. I'm hearing some uh, skeleton jangling as well. Is that like a little cave over here? I don't think so. Right. Bit more iron time. Very good. Um, Mora asks, what gave me the idea for the locked hotbar? So... Yeah, that's a that's a fun one. Um, so I knew I wanted something, right? I'd I'd. Oh, where are you coming from? Oh, did you fall from up there? Ha ha ha. Okay, very good. Um, I knew I wanted something for my episode one that wasn't just like I'm just mining things. Like I like to try and do things differently. I either wouldn't show that mining, just mining. I mean. I'm literally doing that right now, but it's a live stream. We're hanging out, we're chatting. Um, yeah, for my proper episode one, I wouldn't just do mining. I don't want to do that. I don't want to show that on camera. I always just skip past it um, in other seasons um, or do something like that. So this is a fun ceiling. Um, yeah, I normally I normally find a way around it. But uh, long, long ago, I did a little challenge called the Iron Pick Challenge, where... I would have an empty inventory, and I would try and get an iron pickaxe using only creeper power. Um, which, back then at least, maybe it's changed now, meant um, having a creeper... ah, Having a creeper blow up some wood, some trees, so that you could get sticks and fuel. Um, having a creeper blow up cobblestone, enough to get um, eight cobblestone for a furnace. Um, and then having a creeper blow up iron ore, so you could have it smelt the iron in the furnace, um, use the sticks for the thing, you know, and make your iron pick. That was the thing. I have managed to do it successfully in the past, um, and it's a lot of fun. And it's been on my Patreon server as like a, a custom uh, Z advancement thing. Uh, it's not really as well. It kind of is was a Z advancement before Z advancement were were Z advancements. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, yeah, it's been a long time coming. So I kind of always thought like maybe what could I could I do that again or like in a new way like it's been years and years now oh some redstone um and i thought the natural progression is the diamond pick challenge right like what if i try and get a diamond pick like that you don't need to smelt diamonds to make a pickaxe so maybe that's not as fun it's not really that much more challenging and this and that and then yeah from that idea this i need my iron thing for um from that idea the uh, no hotbar challenge was spawned i just thought what if i didn't have a hotbar um, I was trying to think of other limitations and having no hotbar sounded crazy to me to begin with. And then as I sort of tried it a bit, I was like, okay, well, I've got my, I've got my offhand and stuff, which some people were saying, um, did not count. The hotbar counts as, no, the offhand counts as the hotbar, but I strongly disagree. This is my hotbar. Look, this is all the way up here. These aren't anything, you know, so I think, I think we're fine, but, um, <laughs> So, uh, oh, there is some goodies in the ceiling as well. Let's, uh, let's pillar up to those, shall we? If we go up right in between, whoop, we should be able to get both. Uh, where are all my pillory blocks? I barely have any. Oh, we've got a Hermitcraft recap here. Interesting. Hello, guys. <laughs> um, oh, I'm here. I've, I've reached the top and had to stop. Because there's there's like an old nursery rhyme or something, isn't there? Oh, wait, I need... I need iron for this. And I need regular for this. And that's it. Great. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, I that's where it all came from. And it was quite a last minute addition, actually. I was just going to go into this season just kind of doing all this stuff off camera. I, I definitely would have then joined... Um, in the, in Ren's, like, dig, digathon thing. Um, and let me swap that back. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I had this idea, it's like, I mean, I need to, I need to just do that, right? That's what's going on. The hotbar thing, it's fantastic. 
like once once it kind of all come together and i knew what i was doing something like that with a, like a challenge um i was originally like i say gonna be doing the diamond pick challenge right up until quite near the end and then suddenly it swapped over to the the no hotbar challenge which i thought was hello diamonds diamonds i would like some diamonds i've just decided are there any that we can spot there's lapis, there's redstone. No more surface diamonds I can see yet. We had our fill of those when we were uh, when we were blowing creepers up on them. Um, eh, eh, eh. I guess we should get lap the lapis and stuff as well, shouldn't we? Okay, fine, fine, fine. I can use my, my stone pickaxe, right? Yeah, good. Um... Dot asks the question, shall we go to Nando's for dinner? <laughs> and that is a question I will say yes to. Yes, Dot. Yes, we will. Um, I think that would be good. Um, oh, there's been some lovely more support as well, which is helping to, to, to buy my Nando's tonight. So thank you, everybody. Uh, Mel Plays Games just become a channel member for the fourth month running. Thank you so much. Looking forward to another season of Chaos. Absolutely. Thank you for buying my Nando's tonight, Mel Plays Games. And Small Blue Goblin as well. Just become a channel member for the very first time. Thank you so much for the lovely support. <laughs> Do appreciate it. Okay, right now I've grabbed that stuff. Um, I wanted to pop back up again. And make sure every... Oh, we've got more down here as well. Make sure all of this is safe, because I'm a little bit scared of dying. Um, yeah, that cave is very, very big, and lots of death stuff walking about. I guess that's what put one there as well. Eh. Okay. Um, Tone asks, uh, was the hotbar challenge as difficult as you imagined? Oh, Tone. It was way more difficult than I imagined. Um, it was going to be like... Uh, yeah, I obviously I didn't want to like practice it or like do it any like, I knew I knew it was going to be fun but it was it was a lot trickier again. I thought I'd be kind of doing it for like the first 3 or 4 hours. It turned into the first 3 or 4 days. Um it, it even now it's kind of limiting me a, a little bit <laughs> which you know is is fun. It's good and I'm glad that this is still quite unique going on here. Like if people just see the stream or see my episode 2, they will see these uh locks here and might think like what is going on you know um so I, I like it i like it for that aspect uh but yeah it's it's trickier than i wanted it to be <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it was tough i'm not i'm not a super duper mega player um so it was it was tricky but um i'm glad i did it uh it was it was a lot of fun i would recommend other people try it as well if you can um because it is it is good fun but uh there was one major thing as well when i began the episode instead of using sticks here i used um dirt blocks because i wanted something that i could grab literally in the first 10 seconds of playing um, and i didn't want to chop a tree down to get sticks because then i would have you know chopped a tree and that's part of surviving and stuff so um yeah i knew it was quite important that i i grabbed something so i used blocks but what i didn't realize is like right now uh, for example, let me grab my flint and steel again. Um, where is my flint and steel? Oh, here. If that's in my hotbar, right? If I've got blocks in my hotbar and I try and light a fire, I place the block. Whereas if I'm holding a stick in my offhand, I light the fire. So because they were dirt blocks, they acted the same as this. It meant I had like no right click functionality anywhere. And I thought if you're kind of can't place a block somewhere, right? Like right now, I'm trying to place this this uh, wood, but because I'm stood in the block, you can't. Um, I thought maybe my flint and steel would work, because if I'm holding a stick, hi -da -da, I can set myself on fire, but even that didn't work. So that was a little bit of a... Oh, I did move my log. Oh, no. Ha, ha. Oh, don't look at me. Oh, no. Nobody, nobody saw that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, the spirit of the challenge has not been pooped upon, so we're all good. Ah, goodness me. <laughs> uh, right, what have we got more in here? More iron. Bump, bump. Let's put two of those in, and let's go back down and see what else we can get. Um, yeah, uh, so I need, I realized, okay, I need to change these things from being dirt blocks to sticks or something like that, so I can actually use right-click functionality like I had already planned I was going to be able to do. 
from the get-go. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I changed, but it still didn't exactly make it any easier. <laughs> um, Heather Crafter asks, are there any ways for people to get involved in my Season 10 plans? For example, last season I had the uh, form open where people could submit Z advancement ideas. Wasn't there a cave? Oh, some iron right up there. Can I get it like this? It's going to mine really slowly, isn't it? Oh, it's not too bad, actually. I've just got to uh, 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 float about a little bit. It was just the single one anyway. Um, so no, I don't actually have a form out or anything like that. The usual way, pop a comment if you've got an idea. But I would say for now, most of the ideas that people have submitted um, are... How do I get up there? Okay, let's uh, let's get some, some dirt so I can build up real quick. Um, have been a little bit kind of the wrong suggestion. There were plenty of uh, Z advancements that just didn't feel right either. Um, and it's a very tricky thing to do. I was very picky with my Z advancements um, of which ones I did do. There were thousands that were suggested, literally. Um, and I did what in the end? 20? 24? I can't even remember anymore. Um, MJ getting in on the Nando support. Thank you so much for the $4.99. That will get me a starter. Wonderful. I'll, I'll think of you, MJ, when I'm eating my, my halloumi. <laughs> um, yeah, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I couldn't do them all anyway, but yeah, some of them were just the wrong kind of style a little bit. Or it's difficult, because sometimes you think of an idea that sounds interesting, like, I don't know... Try and travel 2,000 blocks whilst blindfolded or something. Ah! Okay. Oh! Now I'm the levitating one. Um, well, this is interesting. Grab my shovel. Very good. Uh, that was dangerous. Is there any more iron about? Or did I get the singular piece? I think I got the one piece of, of, uh, of iron that I actually needed. Um... It is hard to think like me, Tone, but even me, I would come up with loads of ideas and I would I would say no to all of them almost because it needs to be entertaining to watch as well, right? And I, there, like I said before, there's always some entertainment in seeing, seeing me struggle and suffer, but ultimately, like, you know, it's it's got to be something that I I want to I want to try and get a, a full episode out of so, an idea, you know, and it would just get boring if I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Um, have I not mined any cobble yet? Oh, goodness. Okay, let's make sure I've got a little bit of cobble to actually make make some more stuff. Um, and that's the thing. Is it going to be entertaining? Is it going to actually be a fun challenge? Is it something that I want to do? You know? Um, wait, what? I picked up more stone than that, did I not? Like that? Did I get it? <laughs> well, now, no, I've started something now with the nano support. That's... <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Um, thank you, Collie Wolf. I do appreciate that. Bit, a bit of a cheeky Nando's for you. Absolutely. Um, be careful here, folks, because um, <laughs> Dot's going to expect we get, like, the biggest thing on the menu or something now. Um, thank you. Thank you. I believe the Nando's has well and truly been uh, supported for now. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so please do send in your ideas of, of survival gamified things, but just try and think of it more as like, take a, an existing thing, a farm, a storage room, um, enchanting setup, and try and think of how that can be turned into a unique game that's more than just like, oh, every time you want to enchant, you have to throw a diamond away. You know, I don't want it something like that. I want to try and have the fun little, fun little mini game um, as I try and enchant things, so... That's kind of more the aim to look for. And then, yeah, please pop them on the last episode. Don't pop them in the chat now because I will not be able to see them all. Um, but if you comment on the previous episode, uh, I definitely will be able to see them um, as I read everything. I read everything. Uh, this is good. This is good. Getting a few more resources about here. Again, I would love on stream to be able to get a diamond and unlock another slot right in front of you guys. That would be wondrous. But again, I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately, because of my luck. <laughs> um, yeah. Eh. 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 Wait, my partner heard Doc wants to go to Nando's and thought you were dating Doc. No, dot, 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 dash. Um, no, unfortunately, Doc turned me down. Uh, <laughs> um, 
Uh, Michael, is that how you spell your name? I'm so sorry if it's not. Thank you very much for the support as well. A bit more for your secret Nando partnership. Absolutely. <laughs> um, right, let's go. Bump and bump. Is this leading me back to that massive, big, spooky, scary cave? It is. Uh, again, I would only really venture down there if I knew that there was going to be some guaranteed, like, um, demondes going on, you know? But until then, I'm a scaredy cat. Oh, this doesn't even go anywhere. Um, there's a bit more redstone in the roof. Uh, oof, what do I do? I mean, a lava bucket would actually be... I could always go down there and run. I'm not sure how safe my, my exit strategy would be. So that would be pretty scary, but there's some goodies down there that I would like. Very much so. Well, let's eat first. I keep thinking my eye raw eye and his chicken, they look so similar. Trust me, next episode, when you see me at the dentist, because I've got all broken teeth. Oh, well, look at this fun, happy time. Who's who's set this up for me? Gah. What an utter meanie pant face. Okay, I guess we should get the gold as well, shouldn't we? Um. Oh. See, what am I doing wrong here? I press 1 on the keyboard. My finger doesn't reach that far. It always just goes to the Q. And then I end up throwing it away. 1. Nearly hit the Q again. Is that everything? Okay, great. Right. Good, good, good. Let's head back this way and see if we can kind of make a little bit of a an exit strategy path or something. I mean, there's lava there. Could take that with me. Could swap my water bucket out for a lava bucket. Could happen. Um, eh, eh, eh. Okay. A bit more iron. I mean, that does flow all the way down there, doesn't it? Ha! Huh! Oh! What an evil-looking place! I didn't know that was there! Okay, well, let's, let's go and get that, because I see some iron over there, too. And some creep machines. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Is that what? Yeah, re trouble is I use Q a lot as well. I like to throw things, so. Uh, hello, triple creeper. I'm hearing lots of footsteps. Ouch. <laughs> Did you take damage from that? Don't fall down. Oh, you silly Billy. What a silly Billy. Okay. Some goodies there. Lovely. Very nice. Oh, people are playing on the same seed. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. Obviously, I'm a little bit against that, honestly, because I sometimes I worry that, like, spoilers for us might happen. Um. Owie. Okay. Okay. I'm hitting this spider. A hundred percent. They're hard enough to hit at the best of times when, when there is zero lag. But when there is some lag... Huh. Makes it even harder. Oh, lag! Okay. What a terrible day. What an absolutely terrible day. I've not even got my shield up either. Oh, I've found my way down to the bottom of the big scary death pit. Lovely. I'm so glad that there was a shortcut straight to the... Oh, oh, hang on, wait. And then I'm there. Wait, what? I'm all turned around now. What a what a terrible time. <laughs> I'm just glad we got some iron going. And I needed a little bit of redstone for my episode two as well. For the project that I want to work on, which I'm very, very excited for. Um, I still I still need to actually figure out... Oh, do I, do I go for a run? I might go for... A bit of a light up death run. Huh. Don't knock me down. Okay, that's the big scary death hole. Wait, where did I come from? Okay. Oh no, this isn't it. Oh no. One. Okay. Okay. This is this was a safety. <laughs> I'm using the wrong pickaxe. One. Okay. Oh. Phew. I'm such a I'm such a baby. <laughs> I really am. I know I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've seen how I am though. Like this isn't my forte. 
If there aren't dangling animals, I'm not involved. But hey, m let me catch a, a dangling sheep midair and fly it to safety. And I'm your man. I can do that any day of the week. Um, right, there's a bit more iron up there. That's the stuff I saw originally. Huh. Very good, very good. Um, sweet PJ, thank you for the lovely support. Can you trade for diamonds or is it mind only? I was kind of going for like mind only for the because it's only like seven more diamonds. I think it's fine. Um, I don't maybe tr I'm up for trading this potentially. I don't want someone to just give me diamonds. You know, I don't I don't want charity. Uh, where's my other one? Okay. It feels like then that's not fun with the ch with the challenge, which is another reason why I kind of slightly kept my distance from people um, before as well, because already the people that I did bump into, they were just eager to, like, give me stuff. And I was just like, no, that defeats the point of the, the challenge, you know? I needed to do it kind of somewhat legitimate. Um, and I, I feel that I I did. I definitely did. Absolutely. So, you know, I'm happy with in that respect. Where did that creeper go? I feel like he went this way. Oh my goodness, there's lots of, lots of badness. Can you just explode, please? Thank you. Very good, right. Are they, like, spawning up here or something? What's happening? Or do they just wander? Are they falling from the caves and stuff? That could totally be it. Creepers from above are terrifying. Um... So yeah, I wasn't lighting this up, but now I feel like it might be fun. Oh, there's so many skeletons. Skeletons. That's their name. Um, prepare mentally and physically. I mean, like they're all looking at me already. They hate my guts. I am the poorest hermit. Proud to say. But what I'm, I lack in diamonds, I make up for in fun times. <laughs> what a cave. Okay. Uh-oh. That might have been bad. Badness. No, don't corner yourself. Swim, swim, swim. Good. Okay, that was a successful little mini light up. Um, there are still a bajillion monsters and not necessarily... Was that where I was? Where all the light is? Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe we do go for another little run. Ah, but then, then the zombies are going to be waiting for me, aren't they, when I get back. Where's my flint and steel gun when I need it? It was actually an incredible weapon. This guy covered in gold. Look at him. Who do you think you are? Richie Rich Pants. Oh, wow. I'm Mr. Richie Rich Pants. Okay. Sort of decided to do it. I kind of surprised myself there. Um, I wasn't expecting to run in anywhere near as far as I have. So far, so good. So good. Oh! That one whistled as it went by. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. What an idiot. <laughs> I panic big time. Let me stand back and then enjoy the lighting up that I just did. Yeah. Still a lot of death. Um... If I can maybe unload them or something, that might help. Uh, why is it so... Oh, the creeper. The creeper went and blew up, didn't it? Okay. I said back. Eh. Try not to drown. <laughs> eh. Oh, this is an interesting question. Ah, uh, it's night time. Why is nobody asleep? Come on, guys. Come on. Pull, pull. Okay. Who, who, who was the, who was the lazy sleeper? Gemini. Woohoo! Thanks, Gem. Appreciate it. Okay. 
Oh, good. I'm finally... I finally feel like I don't have zero iron, you know? You know what I mean? Like, my amount of iron is 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 actually worth kind of counting now. Um, pop these all away. I'm going to need some more of that. Uh, I guess I've got, I've got wood already, haven't I? Okay, we're going to go down in the caves one more time. And see what we can do. Um, Tigger Lover, thank you again for another gift sub. Do appreciate the support there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, ba 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 ba. We got more torches now. Um, yeah, sorry. What was the question? Uh, thanks for ba ba ba. I kind of wanted to a new combat update lately. So if I may, if you could pick a weapon to be added into Minecraft, what would it be? This is from Kimberly again. Um, a weapon. Ooh. I think something. A bit like they have in Create. Um, something that's really knockback based. Uh, on my Patreon server, we had a uh, smackerel where it was a mackerel with like knockback 10 on it or something. It was phenomenal. It was so much fun. I love it again because it adds more movement and kineticism into the game, right? So, yeah, that is that is my answer. A, a knock, big knockback fish or something. <laughs> that you could get. That would be wonderful. Okay, I'll go back down. Oh, oh, hold your breath. Um, another quick one from Mutant Dog Turtle. Has Create Season 2 ended? Um, yes, it has. I think if I was to play Create again, it would be... Um, Probably in a new world, but again, now with Hermitcraft just starting up, there is no talk of anything like that anytime soon. Um, it's a bit of a shame that it did kind of fizzle out. Um, uh, you know, it was it was very fun while it lasted, but I kept playing and other people just kind of stopped for various reasons. I don't blame them. Don't hold them accountable for it or anything, but when it's just you alone on the server, you know, I missed, I missed my friends, basically, so... Um, and then I'd, I'd had a nice little break from Hermitcraft Season 9 as well. Um, knew the uh, the end was nigh of the, of the season at that point, I think. Um, so was just ready to kind of crack on, you know. Um, just make sure everything was wrapping up nicely of what I wanted to do. So didn't really have time for the create stuff anymore. But again, it still remains one of my all-time favorite uh, mods ever. And probably will be forever. Um, and I am definitely going to play it again at some point in some capacity, but who knows? Right now, I've just got a bajillion ideas and inspiration for Hermitcraft. Oh, yeah, this is so much nicer now. Um, and, yeah, I just want to crack on, crack on with that. Um, have fun with Hermitcraft. This is where the people are at as well, which makes it even better. Uh, especially now, like I say, we've got skiz in that too. It's awesome. Um, come on, diamonds. Wouldn't that just be... Wouldn't that make everybody's day right now? Just find just a little... Just a singular diamond, even. It doesn't have to be much. Just one lonely diamond. Just sat right here. Oh, I found spiders. I found a den of spiders. I mean, technically, in a mine shaft... Is this a mine shaft or is this a scaredy hole? Oh, it's definitely... It's definitely spiders. Okay. Run away. Okay, the water's going to help me here, except they kind of can climb, can't they? Uh, oh, not a good time, Kyle! Oh, they jump! He leaped. He leapt at my face. Kyle, thank you so much for the lovely $20 donation. I'm going to try and... Oh, read it while fighting. I've always loved how you see Minecraft in a unique way. Been a fan since season six. Lovely to hear that, Kyle. Thank you very much. Um, can't wait... Uh, what you and the hermits get up to. Absolutely. Neither could I. Um, it's going to be involving getting a little baby spider nibble at my face. <laughs> uh, let's try and get this, shall we, while we wait for our health to rejuvenate. Boom. Okay, come on. Oh, there's another one there. Did I, did I light it up enough, do you think? Do you think it was just the one? Not sure. Feels pretty dark around here. Ghost of Sparta with 20 more gift subs. My goodness me. 
thank you so much for the lovely support. I really do appreciate that. That's incredible. Thank you. Uh, oh, no, chicken. Chicken time. That's not going to bring me up to full health, is it? I don't think. Whew. Okay, let's uh, knock this down. If there's any hidden diamonds behind. No. Always worth checking. Chicken. <laughs> okay. Uh, and... Let's get in here and try and see what we can do. There's definitely more sadness. Whoopsie. Oh, goodness. Double. Hello! Sandwiched right between two spawners. Brilliant. Thanks. Kill him before he figures out that he's dumb. Don't think anything there can get to me. There's some more redstone. Okay, hello, Mr. Demond. How are you doing? Um, I would love to get in there a little bit more with a torchy. Yeah, very nice. Right, well, I've got a double spawner. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, let's mine this thing before it disappears. How many? Just the one. Okay, are you joking? Could you Could you drop another one? There's something hidden back here. You've got to dig it all out. I think because it was a surface one, they always just make surface diamonds like a singular, singular bit of ore, don't they? Okay, so technically we could get rid of that and get a third slot. I might save that for the episode. You lot are seeing little sneaky previews here. We'll do the sacrificing um, on, on camera. Um, I'm going to check out this way, though. Although, to be fair, if I die with this now... Then I've lost it, haven't I? <laughs> uh, whereas if I sacrifice it, then it counts. Um, interesting predicament. Oh, hello! Okay. Just light up the surrounding area. I'll have to come back here and get all these goodies at some point. Um, this feels dodgy again, like I say, but... And another one! And another one! Ha! Ah! Oh, this is fantastic! Okay. Oh, it's beautiful! Happy... Oh, it's... Oh, happy days. Oh, yeah. Keep keep the train going. Oh! Oh, I've never been happy... Well, I have been. That's an understatement, but it's close! Where was that other one? Oh, now I really better start watching watching my back. How many have I got now? Six! Oh, what a long... Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I really want that diamond. I really need that diamond in my life. Where is it? I run away. <laughs> Wonderful news, right? Between two spawners, that sounds like a nice safe, uh, safe exit, doesn't it? Very good, right? Whew. I think we have enough iron now to actually start using it, um, using the iron pickaxe like all the time, just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, very good, very good, very happy. With that progress, we just got seven diamonds. If I use them all, I will have all my hot slar bots, <laughs> hot slar bots back. Yep, yeah, yeah, cool. That is that part of the stream now where words don't mean anything. Um, where does this fun little thing lead? Is that another spider one, or is that the same one? This feels very sp sketchy. If you ask me, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Yeah, I'm not doing this. That's the that's the answer. That was the final little kick up the butt that I needed to be like, ZF, get out of here. You're going to die. Everything's going to go bad. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. All right, let's head back to base, I think, um, and just kind of check out exactly what we've got going on here. Um, oh, there was plenty of, like, goodies here. Let's quickly grab these as well. Um, have we got any more questions? That's what I want to know. Um... 
Silly Sword asks, do you think Worman will ever be able to help you with these games? I, I don't know. I don't think anybody's seen Worman for a very long time. Wouldn't be sure how to even get in contact with him. Um, yeah, so no no idea, honestly. Ah, <sighs> wow. What a relief. See, I bet you're glad you stuck around now for the stream. You just witnessed a guy get a hot bar. <laughs> Finally. After all these years of being a hot barless, suddenly I'm hot bar full. What a spooky time. I realise I've also not had my shield up for quite a while. Don't fall down. Why am I doing this? I just, I can't resist, can I? Okay, I've clearly been there. I can't resist just exploring what's just what's around the next corner. Okay, death. But hopefully. Ha! Ha! How I did it! I did it without taking any kind of hit. Okay, let's have some chicken. Everyone's yelling at me just to go back. I know! What am I doing? Why am I doing this to myself and to you? I think I just like watching people squirm, you know? Including myself. I'm very squirmy. Right, well, we know we know it's safe around here, though. That's the thing, right? He says, looking at a bunch of mobs. We need to just at least grab a little bit more goodies. Otherwise, we don't know how goodie-full we are. And wouldn't it be entertaining if I got sniped right now and had to come back down here to get this? It'd be hilarious! Oh, how we'd laugh. We'd all have such a fun, good time. <laughs> eh. Okay. I'm stressing Dot out. Don't worry, Dot. I'll calm you down with an Andos. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Get in all the goodies. It's mainly iron I need. Iron and redstone. Um, You know me. Again, I'm playing this season like I always play. I'm not in for the... For the, the big crazy farms. I'm not for, up for efficiency. I just want to have fun. Have a good time. Um, and give give a good time and some fun to some other hermits as well. Um, which I hope I did well in season 9. I think I did. I feel like I did. Um, and this season will be no different. Um, I will be getting lots of hermits involved in my survivally minigame antics. And uh, they'll come and they'll enjoy it. Darn it. Whether they want to or not. They will enjoy it. Hello. Or actually, I'm going to say goodbye to you, Skulk Face. Is that where all those hermits were that were just like dying loads and stuff? What's down there? <laughs> I can't resist. I can't. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going back now. I've done it. I've done it. Uh, that's it. I'm officially heading back to the surface. I will not mine another block. That will drop... No, I need a silk touch for that, don't I? Okay. That's fine. Even though I don't need it. I don't need it. That was the old me. That was the whole of all me that needed every rare block and everything. No, 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 no. This Zedaf... This Zedaf doesn't care. This Zedaf just wants fun and games. I'm carefree, Zedaf. <laughs> Hopefully it's not deadly nighttime outside again. Bum. Um, a small bird asks, are you going to do more planned and scheduled live streams? I love seeing them, but keep missing the ZF is live notification. Well, unfortunately, probably not. Um, live streams are certainly not my main focus by any means. Videos are. I try and put a lot of time into the videos. Um, live streams, especially ones like these. I mean, I still put a fair amount of time into the live streams. I still think about what I want to do and stuff, but, um, ultimately it's pretty much just... Uh, last minute when I think, oh, I might do a live stream. I have time. I have some things to do. Um, you know, so unfortunately, probably not. But uh, yes, the best you can do is um, get your notifications and bell on YouTube and all of that stuff as best as you can. Um, and also follow me, Twitter, Mastodon, uh, Blue Sky. I'm, I, I'm equally um, putting things out on all of those things now uh, a little bit in advance when I can. So that's probably... Your best bet for those things. Okay, right. How did we do? We got 40 
We got that. Let's cook some of the stuff. Why have I got three chicken in this chest? Oh, that was my leftover stack, wasn't it? Oh my goodness, I've nearly eaten half a stack of my precious, precious chicken. Okay, while that's going on, we better uh, we better do another harvest of chicken. Hopefully not fall in this time. Um, let's take our eggs up. Oh, it's full. It's completely full. Okay, inventory of eggs. Um, let's swap these out. Whoops. Um, oh, I need my sword first. Oh no, you need to kill the chickens before you can pop more in. What a noise. <laughs> okay, lovely. And now it's the egging. Oh, there's a head in there as well. The head's as big as the chicken. In fact, is a chicken head item the only one that's actually like real size? I guess maybe like an endermite or a... A uh, silverfish might be as well. Uh, no, uh, Matt, I haven't explored. There's, I was trying to explore it, but I, I found a cave on the way through, and that kind of took my thing. Should we should we make that our final thing? We'll go down to the spider spawner um, and see what's in the chest. That might be fun. Let's just refill my chicken first. And a little bit more. Eventually, I'll get this redstoned up so that it's all automated and stuff, but, you know, for now, I've got a manually egg. Oh, it was probably four chickens from one egg, absolutely. It always happens when you're not trying to make it happen, you know? But as soon as you need it desperately to happen, it never will. Um, this is probably way too many chickens, and when they grow up to adults, they will um, squash each other, and then you just get a little bit more chicken out of it, so it's not a problem. Final two eggs. Very, very nice. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Um, Andrew asks, how long have you been using your skin and what was the inspiration behind it? I've been using this skin since day one, over ten years ago. Um, and the inspiration was, it was meant to look a bit like myself, kind of, in real life, so, sort of. And I'm wearing like a brown, this was meant to be like a leather tunic. Um, these are just some like jeans or something. I don't know. I didn't really give that much thought into it. Lots of people have said like, your skin is too simple. It's, there's no texture to it and this and that. And I fully agree, but unfortunately it's me. This is, this is me now. I do not want to change it. Um, it would feel weird to change it. So yeah, we're all stuck with this, right? We've got a couple of chicken heads, some raw chicken. Um, very, very good. Let's get this cooking as well. Um, I need more furnaces, don't I? Look at me expanding like a pro. Um, where's all my cobble? Very good, very good. Let's make two of them. Boom. Furnace, furnace. Chuck the chicken in. Um, one, two, three. Oh, we're full of stuff. Whoops. Uh, wow, I've got a whole... That's cool. I've got a whole stack of iron now. I started this stream with barely nothing. Look at us now. Look at me now, Mum. <laughs> I'm doing it. You thought I never could, but I did. And I am. And I have. Uh, what am I trying to do? Another stick or two. We're going to go down and look at that spider loot. Um, it might kill us again. I guess I kind of want to just go down with, like, very, very minimal stuff on me. Like, almost nothing, actually. Um, don't need this either. Uh, we're gonna just hopefully go down and light it up. I might even only take a little bit of chicken with me. Yeah, let's go. Ah, ah, ah. Let's go see what we can do. Okay, I do have 18 levels as well now, huh? Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay. And the main issue with this is gonna be... Can we actually get down there without drowning? I mean, we've got our little cave stop off part way down. And don't worry, the diamonds are safe. We'll save that for episode two to unlock the slots on camera. Um, but I think, I do think I am just going to unlock all seven slots and we'll be done with the... Uh, oh, what am I doing? I need to go further down. Um, hold my breath. And hot, hot. I think there was another air pocket, right? I think there's some iron right there. Ah, oh. very scary. 
Did I not bring a, a sword with me? Uh. Okay. Oh, there's a guy. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, curse of vanishing, but we got some horsey armor. Interesting. I'm just going to pull, pull these out without breaking the chest because I haven't got anything quick to do it with. And poop. Okay. Not Nothing exciting, but hey, we did it. And what's all this over here? Lots more skulky goodness. Okay. Very nice. Right. Up we go again. Um, huh. Swim, swim, swim. Let's get back to safety, and then we'll be wrapping the stream up. Um, thank you very much for all joining me today. Amazing support today as well, folks. Oh, oh, I need a breath. I need a breath. Okay. I need a second. Yeah, that probably just takes me down to the spider thing as well, doesn't it? Plenty more cave for me to explore, though, when, when I next want to. Oh, don't eat and swim. Don't eat and swim. You get wet chicken, and you go slow. Huh. Okay. And out. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed uh, enjoying Hermitcraft Season 10 so far from me and all the hermits. It's been excellent to see everybody's reaction. Thank you so much for all the love on my first episode as well. If you haven't seen it, do do go back and watch it. It's very, very good. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> um, I am going to go and enjoy a nice, lovely Nando's now um, with thanks to all of you. So I do appreciate the support there. Um, thank you for asking questions as well. If um, There was literally a good couple of hundred, so I couldn't get through them all. But thank you very much um, for the support. Either way... Um, until next time, hopefully episode two, some point soon-ish, not sure when, haven't started it yet um, in terms of recording, but I've got plenty of plans, trust me. Um, now, hey, now I've got plenty of redstone and goodies and things as well, it should make it a lot easier for me to do. So thank you all, until next time, a good, a bye.